Good morning, Jay Silver with Helicon, and we're out here today in Wachula, Florida, where we're going to be working inside of about a five foot diameter storm drain. This is stormwater infrastructure, and uh, what, what happened is on some of the seams when they were laying the new road, which we'll show you up on top here in a minute, um, two of the seams didn't come together and had a gap, and they were losing soil and that was causing erosion um, of the soil into the pipe, which was causing the road on top to settle down. So the two options were either rip out this brand new roadway that they just put in and brand new sewer system um, and redo the pipe or have Helicon come in with our chemical grout uh, permeation grouting material that we're going to be pumping um, into the tube. So we're going to seal up that crack. We'll start down at six o'clock and work our way around uh, the piping and you'll start to see the product go out and permeate and seal up all the cracks and crevices and stop that erosion and save the city um, a substantial uh, six-figure amount uh, over rip out and replacement. But come on in. Um, we've got our light here. We're going to just make our way on down the tunnel. So, just making our way over to the the project spot. Here's some of the product on the ground that's permeating out as we make our way up to the exact site where we're injecting the product. It permeates and mixes in with the soil, finds all the cracks and crevices, and it's going to seal up Basically, as we get up there, one of these seams. So this is uh, one seam that they already pumped in. If you can come behind me here, you can probably see the, the seam. So we pumped the material, and you see that it, uh, it permeated out down along the seam. And that's what the problem was. The, there was a gap or a breach in this piping so you can see how it yeah, check this out it went inside and sealed up all of this stuff you know tight and uh let's kind of come down here as they're they're starting to pump you start first renee pumping down at six o'clock yeah on, on all the seams then you come back and you'll work your way up um, six o'clock then i go to let's say five all right but you can kind of see another example as it's coming up around the seam and uh you know real simple process we're going to work our way down this pipe sealing up up these seams and uh, after that, this pipe's going to be sealed, and they're not going to have any more soil erosion, therefore having the roadway come down and uh, settle. Uh, but we got Renee on the gun here, got the best team in the business out here getting this done. And uh, they'll start them on 6 o'clock, working their way down, and then they'll come back and start pumping uh, eventually up here at... Uh, up at the top at 12 o'clock. So we're there. We got Renee yeah. pumping at uh, at six o'clock, and uh, no. So we're starting a, a new point. Everything you see here no, is product right that traveled down from the last uh, point down to this point. Um, so he's pumping here at six o'clock. Uh, we should start to see some material, um, additional material, come somewhere uh, on the seams. And uh, before we started this pumping, he stuffed an oakum soaked in a 400 resin uh, up into the seams. And we can show you that as we come back out of the tunnel. So he's, uh, he's moving from 6 o'clock on over uh, to the next increment at this point and again he's just going to work his way uh, around the clock um, 
Just hitting the, hitting the next scene here. And we're Material permeating through the pipe. Working our way around the clock here. Yeah. All right, we're working around to uh, the top point. Uh, our monitor down on the end there started to feel the product permeating on the, the bottom of the tube. You can actually feel the thing uh, start to vibrate a little bit. Um, so he's just working up on his, uh, his very last point up at the top. Let me light this up. Um, so we got a little bit of material coming out. Um, it takes uh, probably right at about 10, 15 seconds to start to, to yeah. kick and catalyze and when you when the material kicks is uh mm -hmm. is when you feel a lot of pressure here. you feel the pressure build up and you can feel the, the pipe start to uh start to shake a bit it's doing exactly as uh you feel it? as the product is in intended to do and uh we're just we're just letting it work its way um around around these uh joints inside of this storm water infrastructure pipe. Taking a little more. So this this point he's just going back around the clock, just checking, making sure we get as much uh, as material as possible safely into the uh, into the pipe. <clears throat> and you can kind of see on the top as we go out, um, this is the, the oakum that was stuffed uh, around the crack and that keeps uh, the material not completely from from flushing out of the seam but it does give it uh, some base and foundation um, so it doesn't uh, kind of a form so it can catalyze and, and seal so as he works his way up at the top taking a, taking a little more material up there and are you initially going off of a, a second Cernay a certain rub? 30 seconds 30 seconds each point and um, again just thoroughly working our way around the clock and ensuring this whole pipe drain is fully sealed and uh, the roadway above us does not settle down again so they're pumping in on that point and they're going to work our way up around the clock See it where it's coming out? You see it here? Check that out. It's uh, bubbling down here, Joe. See that down at the, the seam here? Just bubbling out. Um, so the product's doing what it's what it's supposed to down here at the sand, pushing all the sand out. And that's, uh, as you see, that product down at the end of the pipe kind of, oh, you feel that? So you feel, so that's the, that's the uh, catalyst and the product actually kicking some. And again, it's, it's green friendly. 
it is interesting. As he pumps it in, you know, you wait, a, you feel about 10 seconds, and you can start to feel the product catalyze and kick. Um, you saw it shooting out there down at the bottom, bubbling out. Yeah, real, real similar to, um, as you see, we do our seawall soil stabilization, and it's bubbling out the seams, but similar concept, just a different application on a storm drain and using ports and valves. If you look down here, you start to see just little little tiny bubbles. You can see here on my shadow coming out, bubbling. You know, bubble right here down at about six o'clock, if you can see that. Um, down here at this point just uh, adjacent to six o'clock and uh, again Renee very thorough operator just making sure we got the material we need to get in at uh, each of the points so just uh, wanted to show you what, what is oakum and what do we use it for on a project like this or on another project where we have to kind of put some sort of base or form inside of a crack or a crevice um, so it, it almost almost feels like a horse mane, um, but it's just a stringy um, like material. They call it oakum. Um, and uh, what what we do with the oakum is we soak it in an F400 resin. Um, and I'll show you kind of on this joint seam of the pipe, and then we'll go to the the very first seam and kind of see what it looks like after the material came down into the the oakum. Um, so what they they're going to do in the beginning on a, a seam that's a breach where they're trying to seal up. If they were to put the port you know, next to that seam and inject it um, without this, the product would just run out on into the drain. So uh, we're gonna stuff, we stuff the oakum in the seam, uh, around the, the seam like so. And uh, once that's soaked, it kind of builds that form to keep the product um, in. Just wanted to show you an example of a seam that wouldn't take the oakum. Um, you know, this is nice and tight, uh, but it still could be, as you saw in that, that other seam we were pumping, you see the material still coming out. Where we stuck the oakum is where you see this gap. Um, I don't know if you can come and kind of see that, that gap, and that's where we stuffed that oakum uh, into the crack. From there, then we pump the material, and you can see how the material came out um, all through. We're out of the storm drain. We successfully sealed the three joints that we came out to, to accomplish. And just wanted to show you some of the signs that they were starting to see um, that alerted them that this pipe um, had these issues and these these breaches in the seams you can start to see the the roadway is starting to see some stress cracks and that's where the pipe is is running through but where it's most visible uh, was up in the actual uh, storm drain area they were losing soil here as you see it was filled with erosion um, so now that this pipe has been been sealed they don't have to come out um, you saw where this was running it runs from from about there on the storm drain off over across the road uh, where you start to see some of those those stress cracks you can start to see even a little bit of a depression here uh, but now the pipe is sealed it's as good as new and if you're a, a city municipality um, you, you have some stormwater infrastructure that you'd like to have us come take a look at, give you some alternatives to rip out and replacement, save time, um, money, um, and just it's better overall for the environment than having to rip out concrete and replace it. Um, give us a ring. We're always happy to collaborate with engineers, builders, homeowners, uh, anybody dealing with any sort of soil issues um, and needs, whether that's soil stabilization and or foundation repair, Helicon's your go-to trusted foundation repair expert. So give us a ring and we're always here to help. Hope to see you on the next one. Make sure to uh, subscribe and follow along 
uh, to learn everything in Florida, foundation repair, soil stabilization, um, tips, uh, trades, information, and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one.